Right, so this is Mill Landscape Midland. This is by Dark Freak, 294.74 megabyte and the download. And this looks interesting, I must admit. So what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on here on Farm Manager and start from scratch, you're going to use 914 slots. Now, if you come on here on New Farmer, you're going to use 1,248. Now, the difference between the two, obviously, is the equipment. You don't have any on Farm Manager and start from scratch. But also, these buildings on this little start farm area. Fair enough. So, what are we talking about from an equipment perspective? So, if we go into small tractors, we've got the Case Maxim CVX145. On the medium tractors, we've got the John Deere 7810. On the harvesters, we've got the Deutz Fahr Top Liner 4090H. On the cars, we've got the Lizard Pickup 1986. On the trailers, we've got the Rudolph TDK 301 RP. On the headers, we've got the Deutz Fahr Top Liner 4090 header. On the plows, we've got the Agromaz POV 5XL. Oh, two and a half meter. Dear, oh dear. We're doing so well recently on maps. <laughs> Back with small ones. And it carries on with this one. We've got the Amazon Senio 4000 Supers. Four meters, so we're doing a little bit better. Then we've got the Amazon KG 3001 Super. Oh, three meter under the power harrow. <laughs> dear, oh dear. And then under Cedars, it doesn't get much better. We've got the Amazon Centaya 3000 Super. On the planters, oh, no, that's all right, four and a half meter. The Amazon Pressier 4500 2C Super. Then on the sprayers, we've got the Hardy Mega 1200L. On the manure spreaders, we've got the Brantner TA12050 Power Spread Plus. On the slurry tankers, we've got the Farmtech Polysys 1550. Then we come down to mowers, we've got the Kuhn GMD 4411 and then the Sep Nusel F240. And on the tethers, we've got the Kuhn GF8712. On the windrowers, we've got the Samaz Z2840H. On the forage wagons, the Pottinger Faro 4010D. On the front loaders, we've got the Hauer XB150. On the front loader tools, we've got the Albert Universal Bucket and then the Albert Bale Spike. On the header trailers, we've got the Deutz Fahr Top Line of 4090 trailer. And then on the weights, we've got the John Deere Pickup 900. Now, that's a fairly decent amount of equipment to be starting off with, I must admit. So, you can see where all the slot counts have been going. So, what about the map? This is your map. It looks quite busy. It looks sort of like medium to small fields. You've got a couple of big ones now and again. You've got that one there, 76. Looks fairly big, 581 grand. But then again, obviously, if you come on here on Farm to start from scratch, you don't own any land. But you do on new farmers. You've got the area one, which is basically your start farm. Field three, bit of two, and then a little field nine just there. Fair enough. So you start the game mode, all three game modes, right here. Now, what there is on all three game modes is this water trigger, the hose pipe. Oh, excellent. And also, while we're here, we're going to have a little jump on next door neighbour's trampoline. Ah, why not? Dear, oh dear. Right, we'll carry on. So on our start farm, we've got this shed, garage, whatever you want to call it, just there. Open up those doors like that. There's your trailer. Fair enough. Then next door to that, we've got a cow barn. So you've got your slurry taking out point there. And you come in here, open up that gate like that. Put your feeding point just inside there. So you chuck all your straw and your feed in that one. We'll come out this side. Like that, got your animal dialogue box just there, like that. So, 80 cows go in there, got your milk taken out point there. Well, we've got the slurry taken out point down that end, but then we've got this big slurry pit there. Fair enough. And then around this side, you've got manure heap, and obviously, you've got your taken out point there for it. And we come around and over here, we've got another big hall, so we go into this door, like that. Fair enough, and then we'll hang a right, and then you've got your workshop trigger just in there. And we'll come back out, come over here, so you've got a bit more storage under there, under that lean-to. Got a couple of big bunker silos, and next to that you've got a sheep pen, sheep barn even. 25 sheep going in there, so food in that bit, and then your production, at production, your pallet spawn point right there for you, for your wall. And then next door to that, you've got another shed garage whatever you want to call it so open up those doors like that there you are some more equipment in there you've got your silo so load in and load out at those points then finish off 
we've got our sleep trigger in this sort of chalet building just there there you are got stuck on the railings oh, that's a nice little start farm so what we're going to do we're going to come out over here we go through the bushes yeah why not because we've got we've got the first one which is next door to the farm so this looks like it's going to be a sale point probably from that side going to be grocery mart let's have a look let's zoom in click on that there you are supermarket close enough dear oh dear so we'll come down this side and obviously you've got your selling point just there we're going to go over the road over the railway track there you are so first off we've got this here your rent a train option and you've got your sell point no, that's a buy point oh that's interesting what's that lime station coming straight out of the building Ooh, very nice and you've got the sell point just here so this one is going to be we're going to click on that like that glw fair enough sell your stuff into there and we're going to come back down the road because we sort of need to go back on ourselves a little bit to be fair and where's the main entrance i've got myself lost already oh here we are that's better dear oh dear come out of there down the road a little oh that's better i do I'd like this map this is maps all right we've got to come all the way around to the main road oh now there's a gate here oh that's all right my gate opening anyway so we've got this point here a couple of buy points we're down here now so the first one we've got manure and then we've got seeds and then we've got liquid fertilizer so your manure obviously there your seeds is going to be that one there we we'll come all the way around these greenhouses are just for decoration they're not there for you to be using then you've got your fertilizer just there fair enough right we're going to take a quick jump up to this one here as you can probably tell from the icon this is going to be your main shop over there Mullencris land machining fair enough open those doors like that you've got the menu there oh, no. so that's not giving the option for the menu though eh? all right fair enough so then we'll come down here we've got the workshop trigger just there but it's not giving us the main shop icon that's interesting what if we close the door No, it's not giving us the icon. I mean, you can open up these gates, mind you, and use the building as storage if you wanted to. It's not giving us the icon menu. Hmm. Right, that's interesting. We'll carry on anyway. So, we're going to come out, and we're going to come down to this bit here. Right, so this is going to be a production chain, but you need to buy the land first. So we'll click on that, and we'll buy that. It's 1.62 million. It's a bit pricey. And now we've got BGA. Oh, 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 excellent. Now, what I didn't understand to start with, it had that icon there anyway. BGA 500 kilowatt. Now we've bought the lamb, we've got the biogas plant 500 kilowatt. But there's no icons down here, which is a bit strange. All right, we'll carry on. So you've got your loading in point for your solids there. You've got your production chain menu for your BGA just there. Obviously, you've got your loading in point for your slurry. You've got your taking out point for your digestate there. We'll come down this side. You've got taken out from your digestate from your extra tank. Fair enough. So you've got a bit of storage in that shed under there. Two great big bunker silos. And then you've got your weighbridge for taking your stuff in. Making sure you've got the right weight limits on your trailer. Fair enough. Right, we're going to move on again. We're going to come over the road to this one here. All right, so first up is a buy point. It's going to be a line one for you, just under that tank. Then we'll come through here. It's going to be your sell point, just in there. So this one is going to be called Agraria. Fair enough. Then we'll come around here. Now, is that a sell point? Is that a loading in point for the train? If you come around here, you've got to rent a train option. I mean, that might be a train silo, to be fair. Fair enough. Load out onto your train just there. Obviously, the rented train's up further up the track, mind you. Yeah, that's got to be a train silo. Oh, there's a rented train here. There you are. No. It's a wood icon. This seems really random, but all right. Carry on. Salwood wood icon. 
what well, there's no way of loading wood on you load it you load into the chain into the silo that loads into the chain there You've got a sell wood icon just here that on the map is classed as a rented chain and the third one up there is I, I don't know what's going on that's a bit it's a bit random but all right carry on all right we'll move on again we're going to come over to this area over here all right so you've got a production chain menu here for you so first one this looks like a cereal factory building to be fair we'll have a look down the side that's a different sign on it fscf sounds like a furniture store <laughs> dear, oh dear. load your stuff into there Pallet spawn point there, production chain menu here. So we'll click on that, we we'll buy that, yes. What's going on in there? So cereal. Fair enough. Obviously standard shenanigans on the go with that. So we'll come over to the next one, which is in here. There you are. So you've got a loading in point. So we'll go back up to the map. There we are. So this looks like another buy point for your lime. Fair enough. So we'll come back out and round here. In it is going to be your sell point. So this one is going to be called, click on it, Corn Agri. Fair enough. So we'll come back out of that and we'll go over the road here to the next part. And can we get out over here? Or are we fenced in? We're fenced in. We'll hop over the fence. There you are. That's better. So you've got your fuel station. How much are they charging? £3.3. No. We'll, we'll move on quick. <laughs> Dear, oh dear. Next door to that, it's going to be a bakery. So you load your stuff into there. You come down this side. You've got your production chain menu there. 50 grand. Where's the pallet spawn point? There's no hatch marking areas. It normally would be in this area here. But there's no hatch markings. All right, fair enough. So then we'll come over to the next bit. Sell point, this one here. So it's going to be pizzeria. Is that going to be called pizzeria though? Click on that. There we are. Oh, it is pizza here. All right, fair enough. Obviously, that's there for you. All right. Right. We'll carry on. We're going to move over to this area up here. All right, so we've got another railway loading station on the go. So first up, you've got your rent-a-train option. Then come in here. You've got your loading in and loading off of your train. And we'll come around this side. So obviously, you're going to need to load it into the silo to load it into the train in the first place. Got your loading in points there and your taking out points there. I like that building though. Very nice. Right, we're going to move on again. We're going to come up to this one up here. Right, so we've got another production chain here. So this is going to be your carpentry. So you've got your production chain menu there, your salwood icon, load your stuff in there. And the pallet spawn point is all the way down the end of the building. Right there for you. Ah, fair enough. Right, so we're going to come over to this area here, but first off, we're going to buy it. So click on that. 83. It's going to cost you 82 grand. Yes, we'll buy that because we've got another production chain. So this one's a little bit more palatable on the whole production costings. Another BGA. <laughs> so you've got your loading in point for your slurry there, loading in for your solid stuff there. You've got your production chain menu there. We'll come over here. You got your taking out point for your digestate. Fair enough. And we've got a bit of storage over here as well. You can go into this one, like that. Obviously, store some stuff if you wanted to. And you've got a bit more open air storage just there. These bunker silos? No, just normal storage shed. Because your bunker silo is just there. Fair enough. Right. We're going to move on again. We're going to come up to this area up here. So this is going to be another rented train option right there fair enough so we're going to come out of there we're going to go down the road have a little jog in the august sunshine because why not you know it's good to have a little bit of exercise but also got well, these houses dotted around so if you used to come on a farm manager or start from scratch shenanigans <laughs> you've even got your washing in the garden <laughs> that's all right you can easily place a sleep trigger down no problem yeah right so we're coming here so first up we've got this here so this click on that buy point for your liquid fertilizer then we'll spin around and we've got a sell point no we've got a buy point just in there that's going to be for your lime and in there 
that's better right we've got a cell point in there so this one we'll have to zoom in for that that's called gw fair enough so we're going to carry on we're going to have to go back out to the main road yeah i don't think we're going to be able to jump over this fence are we no all right back out onto the main road it is then you know it's little <laughs> little hut there fair enough so we'll come out of there we're going to turn right into the next complex yeah just in there like that there we are so then around to the right here we've got a buy point for your manure yeah if you want to buy it if you haven't got cows on the go or pigs then we'll come over here for the last bit in this area just there is a sale point and also your animal dealer fair enough zoom right in so you've got animal dealer and then obviously the animal dealer itself we've got animal dealer sale point at the front and animal dealer there but obviously there's a bit of a shed on the go there <clears throat> we come back out here it's a nice big open placeable area you can buy that place a few production chains down oh, that's all right right we'll move on we're going to come up to this one up here right so this is going to be another sale point but this is called harbour and the thing is you can't really see over the edge obviously you sell your stuff into the grid area not a problem oh there we are oh easy nearly fell in there Look at that massive boat. Oh, that's ace. Right, so we'll come back out. We'll go down there. That's better. We're going to come around the side here because we've got another production chain. And as you can probably tell from the carton of milk on the top, it's going to be your dairy. So you've got your production chain menu there. Production chain point. Pallet spawn point. That's better. Get me words right. Pallet spawn point down the side. Loading in point there. And then we'll spin it around. And then we've got your production chain menu just there. 70 grand. Fair enough. Oh, I like that boat on the harbour, though. That's all right. Right, we'll carry on. We're going to come down to this area here. All right, so we've got a sale point and a couple of buy points. So the first one is MEG. That's your sale point. So you load your stuff into there. And we'll spin it around. We've got some buy points here. So the first one is going to be for some seed. The second one is going to be for some manure. Another point for buying your manure. Fair enough. Right, we'll carry on again. We're going to come over to this one up here. So we've got another little industrial area here. So first off, it's going to be your sawmill. So you've got your load your wood into there. Sell your wood icon. And next to that, you've got your production chain menu. So click on that. 100 grand. Taking your wood chips out of there. Then down here is your pallet spawn point. There we are. All fairly simple. Right, we'll move on again. We're going to come up to this one up here. So we've got another buy point up here. So this is going to be for your seeds. Just buy the pallets. We're going to come down here. Am I fenced in again? Oh yeah, up here is the entrance. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Right, so we'll come down this side. There's your south point right there. So this one is going to be called, we'll click on it. There you are, Confectionery Factory. Fair enough. I'm going to come back out of here, down the road, because there's another fuel station. I just want to see if the fuel's different, a different area. Probably not. It's probably going to be the same. But we get to have a little walk through the town again. If you want to place a little sleep trigger down. There's plenty of houses knocking around. Yeah. Look at that. Baylor Essence. Fair enough. Come around the front like that. What's they charging here? 150. Oh, that's not that bad. That's cheaper than when I passed the petrol station on the way home today. Fair enough. Right. We're going to come all the way down to the last area down here. Right, so what we've got down here is a collection of buy points and a sell point all together. So first off, you've got your buy point for your lime. Then you've got a buy point for your seeds. Then you've got a sell point. For this one, the actual sell point itself is going to be GCHB Grain Elevator. And then around the side is going to be your buy point for your liquid fertilizer. And we'll spin it around again. Because we've got another one of those placeable areas. There's a couple dotted around the map. Just buy it and do what you like on it. Oh, that's all right. We're going to come next door to the last thing. Another fuel station. Yeah, that's £3.3 three as well. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Not having that at all. I'd rather go to the one up the road charging £1.50. 
dear, oh dear. Right, so that is your map tour. I mean, we'll have a little flyover just to finish. You can see all the houses in the town area. And it's like this one here. You can pretend that you've owned a pub. Yeah, place your sleep trigger down there. Do a bit of farming on the side. Run the pub in the evening. Oh, I like this map. Yeah, a couple of triggers maybe are a bit mm, random. But apart from that, I like it. This is very nice. You know, the fields aren't massive. So you're not going to be taking too much time getting your fields done. I like now. It's a nice map. Yeah, very nice. Drop it in the comments below what you're going to be doing on this map. You're going to do a bit of farming, a bit of animals. Or maybe just chop some trees down. We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.